Sussex. This is BBC Sussex with Neil Pringle. Ten past eight at BBC Sussex, our top story, and uh, from a pris- prison plagued by violence... There's a fair bit of violence, yeah, there's enough. People are getting cut, people are hanging themselves, people are fighting left, right and centre. To a prison moving now in the right direction. There's definitely been an improvement since the last inspection, which coincided with the new governor starting... Yeah, Lewis Prison has made a marked improvement after a damming inspection three years ago. Then it was criticised for being uh, affected, infected by uh, rats. It was riddled with drugs, had a high number of suicides. In May last year, conditions had even worsened. The Chief Inspector of Prisons, Peter Clark, telling us then that there was deeply troubling uh, treatment of inmates and a huge jump in attacks on staff. Since the last inspection, there, tragically, there have been five uh, self-inflicted deaths. Levels of self-harm that had tripled. And, uh, and assaults against staff had gone up and uh, a lot of this uh, violence was, was serious. And what really concerned us uh, above and above this was that, you know, we all know that behind violence in jails sits drugs, the, the question of illicit drugs. And they'd had two machines, uh, X-ray machines at uh, Lewis to detect illicit drugs. And uh, they'd been out of use since April 2018, so for about nine months, and uh, it's it inexplicable to us how they hadn't been repaired. It was just extraordinary. Well, now we've had this latest inspection, which has found that the prison has a renewed sense of purpose and direction. That's a, a direct quote. Um, there's been a reduction in drugs, a decline in self-harm and suicides, and improvement in cleanliness. They say they still work to do. Earlier, Neil Ambrose from the prison's independent monitoring board told us that drugs remain a problem. It is a problem, but it's it's also um, when prisoners are stuck in cells for a long time, they get bored and then they're sort of more tempted by drugs as well. So it's a sort of circular issue. Solving drugs doesn't necessarily solve the problem unless you can solve prisoners being banged up for very long periods of time. And, and that's the so that the, remains the big problem. Yes, I think so. I mean, getting activities, more activities for prisoners, either work work or education is a less likely to make them bored and less likely to indulge in drugs and then the drugs lead on to violence etc well he went on to say that uh, the the problem is uh, understaffing he, he said if there were more staff then there would be more chance of uh, letting prisoners uh, out of their cells and and doing more interesting stuff let's talk to the governor of lewis prison hannah lane uh, thanks for joining us hannah good morning yeah, I mean, would you, I mean, have you got enough uh, prison officers to uh, to run Lewis properly? Um, yes, yeah, so our staffing position has kind of uh, has improved significantly in terms of uh, number of officers employed at the prison. So in 2018, we had an increase and we had um, some quite a bit of investment in terms of our uniform staff. Um, so we had an increase of around about 40 to 50 uniform staff coming into the prison. Um, it still remain, remains um, an area of focus for us. Um, we are recruiting at the moment for a number of staff, so we're, um, we've got some recruitment campaigns out for prison officers, um, but also for instructors in the prison and other roles such as nurses um, and administrative staff. So we continue, but um, uh, we are in a better position staffing-wise than we were before the Chief Inspector's last visit. But would you say that the, the, your big priority, what is it? Is it drugs uh, or is it uh, finding the staff to mean that people can do useful stuff and, and so they don't resort to the drugs? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, you know, we talk about our priorities at Lewis Prison are to have a clean, safe and purposeful prison. So um, absolutely drugs, um, which can be linked to uh, violence and self-harm. We know they can be drivers of of both. Uh, It's really important to us that we're reducing both the supply and harm of drugs. So um, and the demand as well. So um, we do a lot more work. We've increased the use of technology in the prison um, to make sure we have less drugs coming into the prison. Um, But we're also doing a lot of work with our residents around um, reducing the demand. So Mm. trying to encourage them to get clean while they're with us here in Lewis um, and stay clean when they go out on release. I mean, it was uh, 22% um, of inmates uh, randomly tested, you know, with with drugs. Now it's 16%. I mean, that's still it's still high, isn't it? Uh, absolutely, we completely agree with you. Um, we want that number to come down further, and we are confident that we'll be able to do that. Um, you know, a significant number of the men coming into our custody, unfortunately 
do come in with substance misuse problems and that's often coupled with complex mental health issues as well. Um, but we're determined to work with the men in our custody to get that number down and to support support them to move away from drugs and alcohol. Yeah, we heard about the x-ray machines last time and that was quite a prominent bit of the report. Um, Your x-ray machine's working now? Um, Absolutely, yes, Neil, yes. We have two um, new x-ray machines in the prison, but we've also received some other technology. We have something called an itemizer. Um, which also swaps incoming mail for drugs. So that will tell us if there's anything um, enclosed in incoming mail. Um, And we have other technologies such as metal detectors and also something called a boss chair, um, which um, scans people to see if they have anything um, held internally as well. So we've got a number of methods, and we've also fortunately had an increase in our drug dog provision uh, here at Lewis. So um, that's looking better as well. Right. So you're doing your best. Thanks very much indeed, um, and uh, best, best wishes to everybody working at uh, and, and Lewis and, and anybody inside who's listening as well. Uh, L- Lewis's MP Maria Caulfield was listening to that. Hello Maria. Signs, signs for optimism or, or are you still concerned about the state of Lewis? I want to congratulate Hannah and her team um, on the work that they've done because since I've been uh, the MP in f- over four years, Lewis Prison was in a very difficult place, you know, two or three years ago. And Hannah and her staff have really transformed things. Uh, and, you know, it, it's difficult to retain staff when they're working in such a difficult environment. And uh, it becomes a vicious circle. You don't have enough staff, so the staff you do have uh, are under pressure and leave. So, uh, you know, do not underestimate uh, how much success ha- has been done in the last 12 months. Um, there is still more to do uh, and Lewis Prison is a very difficult prison physically to, to run because it's an old Victorian prison there's certain, uh, the layout of the prison often means it, it's difficult for officers there uh, to look after inmates so uh, the combination of that can be very difficult but I'm really really pleased with this report um, that things are, are definitely moving in the right direction. Yeah one of the uh, things that Neil Ambrose said from the uh, the, the prison visitors is that it, it's, it's money Money is the key to a lot of this, actually. Money to pay the staff to uh, give people and, and, and to resource the prison so people can do some useful work in there. Is there going to be any more m- money coming for prisons from the government? Yeah, no, absolutely. And you heard from Hannah herself that, you know, more money has gone into staffing and there are more prison officers working, not just in Lewis Prison, but prisons across uh, the uh, the prison estate in the country. Uh, and also uh, around training for staff, because it's not just simply about having numbers. What we lost in the prison service, um, you know, two or three years ago when I was meeting prison officers uh, there in prison was experienced prison officers. Um, so it's about having the right skill mix as well. So money is going into uh, both recruiting staff but also their training so we're able to keep as many as possible as well. Okay, thanks very much indeed, uh, Maria Caulfield, uh, supporting the the governor at uh, Lewis Prison. It's 18 minutes past eight. (laughs) 